courtroom was still as the judge rose sternly and peered down at me. I knew what he would say. I was guilty. Guilty of falling in love. Oh, my. Could have been a crime of passion. One soul seeking another at all costs. Now, how often can a woman find excitement, a man? The danger all in one man. Well, once a month that she subscribes. to get dressed up for me. Come in if you dare. Then it's almost ready. Looks like you're in a state of siege. A state of apathy is more like it. This is hardly the home of a woman in finest fettle. What's going on? Nothing. I go to work, I come home. I eat, I go to sleep. Hardly the stuff of confidential romance. I found it in the laundry room, I swear. Now, look, I may have an idle Saturday night, but you should be out having a good time, not feeding your mother. Maybe then you clean up. I tell you, the men I meet just aren't worth the effort. You know, it used to be that when I kissed, I'd hear bells and banjos. Not anymore. Mm. Not a jingle. Your father's going to Gene's tennis club tomorrow. Why don't you join him? Think of all those splendid men in white. Oh, I know. When I was five, I fell in love with a good humor man. Where is he now? If I had a magic wand, I'd conjure up a prince for you. If I had a magic wand, I'd conjure up a maid. And a prince. Beginning New Year's Eve, Decades presents a toast to Twilight. Now, let's celebrate. Hi. Hi. Uh, you, me, Buddy, Nancy, Willie or Annie? Neither. Who's the fifth? Buddy's jogging partner, Jack. Oh, the college boy. What's his name, McBride? Are we adopting him? Oh, I don't think Buddy wants him for a brother. He's had brunch here the past three Sundays. Why doesn't he take her out on a date? Maybe he's shy. Maybe he's cheap. Hi. Oh, how was your jog? Well, she's getting a little fast for me there. Yeah, Mrs. Lawrence, that's for you. We brought you a present. Oh, nice. Well, I think you better open it first. Caddy? Ah, uh, she's going to be disappointed. No. Eggs. I eat breakfast here so often. How oh, fundamental. Grade A. Thank you, Jack. Come sit down before everything gets cold. Okay, looks like a good idea to me. Eating always sounds like a good idea to him. Oh, oh I'm sorry, I'm late. My car's in the garage and I had to wait for a ride. Uh, oh, this is Jack McBride. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm, I'm Nancy, her older sister. Figured that. I, I've already met Annie. So why don't you ask her? Uh, well, let's let her eat first, okay? Ask me what? Well, old Jack wanted to check some books out of the law school library, and he wanted to use your card. Well, his face won't match your ID picture. Well, that's true. <laughs> so you could come with us and check the books out for him. Uh, my friend has no sense of timing. I'm sorry. Well, actually, you know, if you met me there about 2, then that would give me time to pick up Timmy if I can borrow your card. Oh, I feel like we're putting you on the spot. Oh, you are. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Nancy, sit down. Have some breakfast. I'm really not very hungry. Dad, I would like to get out to the courts early. What for? Sightsee. <laughs> Nye, nice um, to see you. Told you she was terrific. Yeah, next time, remind me to believe you. It's by the door. But the money you owe me for last week's laundry isn't. And you're not getting it either until you find that work shirt you lost. I tell you, you didn't give it to me. I bet you Melanie Parker Chase could find it. Who? A psychic. Here. In 1959, she gave the police clues that solved the murder. She was probably in on the crime. Anna, you're too skeptical. Maybe. What's all the research for? A magazine article I'm writing on psychics. Willie, you don't believe that hogwash. I'm not so sure it is hogwash. Anyone can pretend to be a psychic. Watch. 
Your work shirt is in the spirit world. It will fall from the sky before nightfall. Is that a prediction or a wish? A demand. I want my money. Well, suppose I refuse to pay you. I'll put a curse on you. Ooh. Well, let me think about that. <clears throat> I may pay up. I practically grew up here during law school. <laughs> It's a nice place to come furnish. Oh, you would introduce those two. They've got a lot in common. Uh, of course, it would be a very quiet wedding. Popless champagne. And the dancing would be soft shoe. Oh. You know, you're not what I expected of a 29-year-old divorced mother. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You didn't. Did you have what you need? Almost. I think we better go. Shh. Oh. They think so, too. Bye-bye, y'all. Shh. <laughs> they had a dog called Hush Puppy, right? Oh, no. <laughs> What's so funny? The Shosh family. Hi, baby. It wouldn't be funny if we explained it. Hey, Tiger. Race you to the car. Yes. Okay? You ready? Get set. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the Shush family? Oh, just some people telling us to be quiet. So you talking? Of course. About me? Buddy, I got him the books as a favor to you. This is not exactly how I plan on spending my afternoon. It's cute, isn't it? If I say yes, you'll be mad. If I say no, you'll be mad. Just tell me what you think. He's very attractive. I'm happy for you. Yeah, well, it's not like that. Not yet, anyway. Come on, I'll drop you at home. No, you've done enough favors for one day. We'll take the bus. The bus takes forever. It's OK. I'll have Jack all to myself. I'll give you an extra dollar if you'll iron them. Where's your iron? It's in my closet. Never mind, I'll get it. Look! It's my work shirt. I don't believe it. It's just like I said. It fell from above and before nightfall, too. How about that? A psychic and on your first shot. Willie, seriously, do you think I could really have psychic powers? Possibly. I think it was just a coincidence. Well, maybe yes and maybe no. Willie, do you think I could be psychic? Well, it's worth thinking about. Psychics make a lot more money than laundresses. a jealous maniac calling to make amends. Maniac! How good to talk to you. You're not mad? About what? Oh, that was no big thing. The next time I don't trust you, just bought me one. <sighs> uh, uh, hold on just a second. There's someone at the door. Yes. Jack. Hi. This is to thank you for the use of your library card. Thank, thank you. Uh, Timmy will be delighted to have his own spoon. Uh, well, it wasn't really for Timmy. May I come in? Uh, I've got someone on the phone. 
Why don't you go ahead and take your call and uh, I'll guard the door, okay? Buddy, it was nice talking to you. Oh, must be a bad time. Let me call you back tomorrow. Oh, I'd like that. You know, Nancy, we've both come a long way, and I don't want my dumb behavior to blow it, you know? I know exactly what you mean. Okay. I'll call you back tomorrow, then. Bye. Bye. Okay. First swim. I was six. My brother threw me in the pool at the YMCA. Uh, Pacific Ocean. I, I, I was three, holding my father's hand. Good. Okay, first slice of pizza. Okay. Nardelli's Leaning Tower of Pizza. Oh, um, Eddie Beck's birthday party. It was frozen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've got an easy one. First kiss, Ivy Fabricant in the stairwell of our building, and I was 12. Mm. Peter Strisick, third grade at recess. Uh, he did it on a dare. Ah, you didn't believe that, did you? No. He did it because he wanted to. The dare was just an excuse. I wish I'd been in your third grade class. You weren't even born yet. Is that what's bothering you, my age? What's bothering me is Buddy. I don't, I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt her. I don't either. I mean, she's a nice kid, and I do mean kid. It's getting late. Hey. I don't know what Buddy has told you about me, but we go running together. I don't date her. Good night. Thank you for the ice cream. Look, it'll make you feel better. I'll tell her about us. There's nothing to tell. Not yet. Not ever. That's what Ivy Fabrican said. Good night. <sighs> I thought Mom was going to give you a ride to school this morning. She had to take Nancy to the garage. Her car is ready. What's in the box? My Ouija board. I bought it yesterday. So you're going to use a Ouija board to contact the spirits that you don't believe exist? Let's just say I'm willing to give the spirits a try. Well, I think that's a very tolerant attitude. If I'm psychic, the Ouija board will help me contact the spirit world. Well, it's cheaper than a toll call. You can laugh if you want, but I'm going to use my gift to benefit mankind. As a weather forecaster or a book. Since you helped me discover my psychic powers, I'll overlook that remark. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> you helped her discover her psychic powers? Call me Dr. Frankenstein. I can think of some other name to call you. Hi. Oh, they're, they're beautiful. What's the occasion? That's what I was going to ask you. Is it there? They're not from you? No, I found them out here. Do you hear bells and banjos? Speak up. I can't hear you over the bells and banjos. You know, Mother, you were right. I've been closing myself off, and I've forgotten how good I can feel. Do we get to meet this magician? No. I'm not going to see him anymore. Oh, Nancy, he's not married. No. I just think someone can get hurt. Sounds like the right decision. But I wouldn't give up bells and banjos without a struggle. We better hurry. Oh, you're telling me. You don't have to worry about my car. I won't need another tune-up for at least 6,000 miles. My, I wish I could say the same. Nancy's been held up at work, so would you take my car and pick up Tammy, please? Now? I'm interrupting something. Yeah, my Great Depression. Jack and I were supposed to go jogging tonight. But he says he has too much work to do. Well, maybe he does. 
It's not working, Willie. Why it's not working? Our relationship. Whatever that is. Well, why don't you let him know how you're feeling right now? How? By picking up the phone and calling him back. Certainly he can spare 30 minutes to go jogging with you. Yeah. You don't think that sounds too pushy? Yeah, don't make it sound pushy. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, when Ann Landers goes on vacation, who do you think writes her column? Thanks. Just don't forget <laughs> to pick up Timmy. I predicted Kathy Carr would fall off the balance beam and jump today, and she did. And she's never fallen before. Well, did you tell her she was going to fall? Of course. I felt it was my responsibility. Hey, the front wheel is missing on my bicycle. Or was it in the garage? Yeah, and the garage was locked. Was anything else taken? No, I don't think so. Why would anyone steal a wheel? Maybe they didn't steal it. Maybe they just borrowed it. Borrowed it? Well, sometimes it's hard to understand why people borrow things. Annie, hand it over now. My Ouija board told me it was the wrong time for you to take that bike trip. If that wheel is not on my bicycle in the morning... Then you won't be able to take the trip. I'm going to kill her. Well, ask the Ouija board first. This may not be the day for it. Yes? Oh, I came for my key. I'm going for the joy of my life. He's sleeping. Oh, oh, I hate to wake him. Well, then, well, then don't. Just let him spend the night, and I'll take him to school in the morning. Are you sure you don't mind? Sure, anything for you. That's so nice. Like your outfit? Thanks. Jack and I went jogging. Come on in the kitchen. I'll be glad to see you again. Oh, I really gotta get going. No, come on, you gotta see this. I'm all tired. I'm communing with the spirit and Jack. There's this Ouija oh, yeah. board. It was Annie's idea. It's working too. No, it's right. Great. Great, two more hands. Sit down, Nancy, and play around. What have you got to lose, huh? Hi. Hi. Hurry up, we don't want the spirits to lose interest. I can't really stay. Come on, one round. All right? Everybody put your hands on the planchette and concentrate. Spirits, what is in this room? Check to me before I go. Well, I gotta take off. I'll drive you back to your dorm. No, that's all right. I'm gonna jog. Thanks for taking me away from my books, though. I'll see you soon, okay? I hope so. Bye-bye. Bye. Next time you can split, then he can kiss me goodnight. Let's ask the Ouija board if he wanted to. Of course he wanted to, stupid. He's a guy, isn't he? Let's ask the Ouija board if he's a good kisser. Hi. Oh. Going my way? I'm going home. Good, that's my way. Jack. Wait, just give me ten minutes for a cup of coffee, okay? I... Five minutes. We'll make it instant. Let me explain something to you. I'm I'm 30. You, you're 21. Uh -huh. Wait, just a minute. Now, I, I'm divorced and I have a child and, and you're a college student. You forgot one argument. I'm a man and you're a woman and therefore we can have nothing in common. We have buddy in common. No, I told you. She has nothing to do with this. I don't believe that. 
The only thing that I'm sure of at this moment is that I want to kiss you. I wanted to the other night in your kitchen, remember? No. I do. I remember every detail. You smelled like strawberry ice cream. And the, the faucet was leaking. Gotta get that fixed. Well, I'm good at fixing things. Yeah, like leaky faucets and lonely ladies. If you've been alone lately, it's only because most men aren't good enough for you. You don't know how special you are. You... Nancy, the <laughs> girls that I go out with, the ones that are my age, they're, they're silly. They're into astrology and rock music and diets, lots of diets. But you, you know who you are. Please, you just know, don't You go know on who you that. are, you know what you want. And as if that weren't enough, you were so beautiful. This is not gonna work. If you believe that, you'd be home right now. You're still standing here. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll give you right home. table attacked me. Well, you probably provoked it. Is there any blood? Oh, I like that. She's worried about me. What about you? About my carpet. <laughs> mm, pilot to navigator. Where's the sofa? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh! Ah. Uh, mm. I got coffee in there. It's gonna be ready soon. Mm. Ah. I'd give up smoking for you. You don't smoke. Well, all right, <laughs> name something else. I'll give it up. Well, what am I, Lent? You don't have to give up anything for me. I know, but I think I better. I feel too lucky. Mm. How about you? How do you feel? Good. Good. That's all good? Well, what do you want? Uh, transcended, transformed, is that better? Yeah, a little bit. Fence. Transformed into what? Myself, Nancy Lawrence, before, before I was married, before I had Timmy, before I was a lawyer. See, I'd, I'd forgotten how all that felt, and I must say, it feels very good. It feels great. Mm. It feels like breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. What time is it? 6.30. I have to be in court very early. No, it's too early. Mm. Look, mm -hmm. we'll have breakfast, mm -hmm. and we'll shower, and then I'll drive you to school. I sound just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. She made me take the bus. Jack. I'm sure he wouldn't mind just a small Willie, piece. Willie, I have to bring you to his dorm before school. No, no touching. Okay. Can I tell you what? 
I'll make you a cake of your own. A lemon pound cake. Does that sound good? Well, what did I do to deserve such an honor? He told me to make Jack aware of my feelings. And I think it's working. I'm glad. Now, if I could just get my bike working. Mm. Spirit, I am one with you, you are one with me. And I am one without a bicycle wheel. <sighs> now tell me, Annie, where is it? I'll give it to you, I promise. When? When the spirit's okay. All right, this is going too far. Willie! And I'm sorry I started this nonsense. I was only kidding, Annie. I think you're jealous of my powers. Annie, you don't have any powers. Willie, you don't have any right to come into my room, so get out. Get lost. All right. I will talk to you later when you have calmed down, and so have I. Willie, why don't you just disappear? You must have been the first jogger to hit the trail. No, not really. Did Jack like the cake? It wasn't the right time to give it to him. What happened? Wasn't he there? Yeah, he was there all right. With another girl. Nancy. Nancy? Yeah, Mom, I saw them together. He got out of her car. So? So what would you think? That he was out jogging. That Nancy drove by and saw him, gave him a ride. Well, if he was out jogging, why would he want a ride? Maybe he finished. Oh, buddy, I wouldn't let anything as silly as this come between you and Nancy. You have to know the facts. I don't need to know the facts. I know Nancy. Come on. I think you're agonizing for nothing. You really think so? Yes, I do. You better get going. Yeah. You're right. Buddy, you're not going to school in that outfit. Yeah. Why not? Just goes dead. Well, it lives on in my heart. Come on, you better change. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could change into Nancy. Doug, have you seen Willie? Uh, is this important? It depends on whether you think Willie's important. He said he was coming home and he hasn't. Well, I'm sure he'll be home soon. No, he won't. And he's never coming home, and it's all my fault. What are you talking about? I cast a spell on him this morning. I made Willie disappear. That's ridiculous. You can't make someone disappear. But I did, and I don't know how to bring him back. Annie, if something had happened to Willie, we'd have heard about it. How could I have done such a thing? And Willie's my only brother. He was always good to me. I'm not a good sister. I'm not even a good psychic. Who is it? It's me, buddy. Oh. Uh, what do you want? Can we, can we talk? Is, this isn't really a good time. Yeah, well, it's not a good time for me either. In fact, it's a very bad time. I, I'm, I'm sorry to be like this, but uh, I'm really tired, and uh, I've got to be at work early tomorrow. Yeah, well, it's only 8 o'clock. Can I just come in and talk for a minute? Buddy, will you please... Hey, Nance, is something wrong? Yeah, there's something wrong, all right. With Nancy. How's the cake? It's 
Ravik. Didn't you make that for Jack? Yeah, but I decided I'd given him enough. A jogging companion, free brunches, and my sister. What are you talking about? It's true, Mom. What's true? They're together. They're a couple. Did Nancy say that? She didn't have to. He was there. Oh, buddy. And half a dress, too. You told me to go over there, so I did. But you told me I'd feel better afterwards, and I don't. I mean, can you believe her? What kind of person does that? A desperate one, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, I don't care. I hate them both. I can't say I blame you. But when the dust settles, there may be an explanation. Whatever it is, I don't want to hear it. You know, all this stuff about Nancy and I becoming closer and building our relationship was a bunch of lies. She wanted to know my good-looking friends. She didn't want to know me. Oh, buddy. But that's fine, too. Because I don't want to know her. Ever. I would have had your secretary announce me, but she seems to have gone to lunch. Mm. Shouldn't you be in school? I'm on my lunch hour, too. I don't have much of an appetite right now. Yours doesn't seem to be affected, however. Well, I think I know why you're here. Don't you think this is between me and Buddy, though? No, I don't. Buddy's young, vulnerable. Someone has to look out for her. Especially when her sister doesn't. You don't even know the facts, and already you're on her side. You're my mother, too, you know. Right now, for a change, that doesn't strike me as an honor. Uh, I think I understand your feelings. But I don't think you understand mine. Here's what I don't understand. How could you let this happen? I, I don't know either. It just did. I tried to resist it. You're the one who told me to go after the bells and banjos and forget about the rest. You didn't tell me it was Jack the bellboy or that Buddy's feelings were involved. Buddy's feelings? What about my feelings? What about them? If, if I like somebody and they like me, what else am I supposed to do? What any grown-up responsible person would do. Realize that your actions affect the people around you. Do you know how much you've hurt Buddy? I didn't mean to. After you've both worked so hard to be good sisters to one another. You trade her love and trust for a little night music. Well, I think you've underestimated my relationship with Jack. How is that possible? I'll talk to Buddy. She'll understand. Don't be too sure of that. She really liked that boy. Well, he liked her too, but not in the same way. So you took him? I didn't just take him. He wanted me. Is that all that you require these days, my darling daughter? Hi, Dad. How you doing? Willie, where have you been? You haven't asked me that since I was 16 years old. Oh, you don't understand. Annie was worried about you. When you didn't come home, she wanted to call the police. What, and report me missing? And turn herself in. What for? When you didn't return, she thought her spell had worked, that she'd made you disappear. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand it. How can a little girl like that, an intelligent little girl, believe in that nonsense? Well, she's only a child. You suggested she could change the world with her psychic powers. Never should have teased her. Well, somebody's going to have to talk to her. I think it better be you. I'll flip you for it. No, you won't. Talk to her, will he? You get washed up. Yes, Mom. Start some dinner. Right. 
guys. Jack! I didn't mean to scare you. Hey, I hope you like clam sauce on your spaghetti and on your walls. How'd you get in? I told the landlord I was your father. You know, I just might have had plans tonight. You can't just walk in on someone's apartment like that. Don't be angry with me. I didn't really get clam sauce on your walls. I'm not angry at you. I'm angry at me. Well, my clam sauce will cheer you right up then. You'll love it. It's my mother's recipe. She'll like you. You'll love her. I, I'm not going to meet your mother, Jack. Yeah, well, all right, well, how about my Aunt Narcy? I'm, I'm trying to find the words to say this. Uh... Well, why don't you try English? I speak that. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Well, are you going to tell me this is because of Buddy? It has nothing to do with Buddy. It's about me. I needed somebody, and you were there. But I, I never gave any consideration to your feelings. Well, what about my feelings? I love you. And you have feelings for me, too. I know that. Yes, I do, but I care about you, but it's never going to go beyond that. Well, how? How can you know that? Because I know who I am. I know what I want. You told me that yourself. But as much as I care about you, I know that a 21-year-old man is not what I want. Look, what we have is too good. I'm not going to let it go. Look, I'm sorry. Just... Yes, so am I. I'm sorry I ever met you. Don't look at it that way. Oh, you tell me. Just how should I look at it? Look at it as something very nice that, that happened between two people and changed them just a little bit. Well, you saved me for a little while anyway. From what? Girls who diet. <laughs> you are terrific, Jack. You will find a very special girl, someone better than me. There's no one better than you. you know, it's crazy. I was going to take you home, introduce you to my parents for summer vacation. That is crazy. Working people don't have summer vacations. To buddy. I'll even eat Brussels sprouts. You promise? Willie, it worked! The spirits brought you back! Uh, no, they didn't, Annie. Nor did they take me away. You mean it wa I wasn't to blame? No, 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 no. I, I'm to blame. See, it just got late, and I stayed over at a friend's house. Oh, what a relief! I thought I had misused my powers. Annie, you really don't have any powers. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, you do. But your powers are your intelligence and your sense of humor and your personality, and I think that's quite enough. Why not leave the powers of prediction to someone else? I like knowing what's going to happen. It makes life so much easier. When you get a book, do you read the last page first? No, that would spoil the story. And knowing what would happen would spoil things in life, too, don't you think? I guess so. 
Come on, come with me. I got an idea. Let's go to Sun Look Chow's, huh? Great Chinese cuisine, and for dessert... Fortune cookies! Right. <laughs> but do me a favor. Just don't take them seriously. <laughs> At least I didn't think it did, but of, of course it did. Is that it? Because I've got a lot of jogging to do. I'm not going to see Jack anymore. Look, Nancy, don't do me any favors. I don't care what you do or who you see. Because as far as I'm concerned, you don't exist. Hey, I don't expect you just to forgive and forget, but at least you can give me another chance. A chance to steal another boyfriend? It's not about that. I was feeling lonely and... Undesirable. And Jack made me forget all that. He made you forget everything. Well, look, I know I acted like it don't matter, but you do. You know, Nancy, I thought we had come so far, and I guess we really haven't. I don't know. In the old days, you used to envy me. Now I envy you. Envy me what? Well, maybe where you are in your life. I, I think I just wanted another shot at it. You shouldn't envy anyone. You've got everything. You've got good looks, brains, a good job. Sure lost your trust, though, didn't I? You had it once. I do so want it again. Yeah, well, it's not going to be easy trusting you. Well, will you try? I will. We'll see. You go on and jog. Uh, I'll be in the house. I'll probably have more to talk about it if you want to listen. Good job. 